Are we going to talk about abortion? Uh, are we going to talk about abortion? I, I, I had that? it in my mind to talk about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have the... I don't have the uh, I feel like it's, it's so, a hot it's topic. So in depth, it's so in-depth. It, it's so in-depth. It's, it's going to take some time to really unpack it the way we, I think well, we should. I think we should give it its just due. It's just a lot. Um, I mean, that was a leak. Didn't necessarily guarantee that they were going to do what they said they were going to do. That was just somebody's opinion on paper that got leaked. Hey, it came from so it leaked from obviously a leak. It, like if I say like, some shit and it get online, that's not a leak, nigga. That's just a nigga talking. So <laughs> yeah. a, well, leak, a leak is something that's like coming from. Well, a it had to obviously come from the Supreme Court because who the fuck else would yeah. just leak a Supreme Court justice's yeah. opinion? Bingo. So that's what I'm saying. It's a higher up. It's so somebody, it hasn't it's been officially overturned. But yeah. all the states are now, all the states that already kind of feel that sentiment are pushing. Maybe make their own decisions. <laughs> I, that, well, okay. Right. So I, I feel the same way. I personally yeah. feel like it has nothing to do with, uh, even though a lot of us some have been mad. Some motherfuckers. Yeah. It has nothing to do with us. It's more about white make folks. The choice of not bringing children into the world. Yeah. And be okay with it. Which Young Thug also said that. He said, if you broke, you shouldn't be able to have kids. Yeah. And even Michael Jackson said, if you can't feed your baby, then don't have a baby. <laughs> 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 Chris just killed the hey, pod. That's, the fu- that's no, funny that's as the, hell. That's the hey, that is the that's, funniest. Fu- when you come up with that's this shit hilarious, like that, that's hilarious, bro. Like that's no, that is fucking I don't funny. Even I remember even, that song like that. that, that, like, yeah, that, that line. That wasn't even going together. It's not the line I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucked up when about I that. In my mind, when you said it, I'm like, God damn, this whole time this nigga was talking some real shit, and I'm kicked beat the I was over here like that. I'm not even in my mind realizing what it is that I'm dancing to. Realizing, like, this nigga is spitting facts, nigga. This <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, yeah>. <laughs> not my love. Like, this nigga was <laughs> pouring his soul out, nigga, and I'm moonwalking. Michael yeah, Jackson yeah. was woke. Um, he, he was trying to buy NBC. Why? 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 why is <laughs> uh, well, let's get into the YSL. Let's get into Wait. the YSL Rico case, <laughs> man. NBC, all. Because, like, they, they always say that shit about people. Yeah, it's like niggas NBC. do something crazy. I don't like, know. Like, anytime <laughs> a nigga get caught up. Is it just in limbo right now? With yeah. that being said, I think Young Thug was trying to buy NBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's trying to buy. Put a bid in for NBC. <laughs> Young Thug and Gunner, they was trying to buy NBC. They was trying to go <laughs> have the <laughs> on NBC forever. <laughs> they got them niggas. Y'all niggas reckless, man. Damn, them <laughs> niggas is fighting for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, niggas want to talk shit. Oh, that be for real. Who uh, <laughs> the fuck with the Thugger and the Gun and, the, and Gunner wanna? Um, I know it's uh, just tra- tragic. Why <laughs> sell? Why sell? Ten years, um, huh? Ten year wiretaps. Yeah, yeah, man. What the fuck? Rico case That's against heavy the shit. entire Young Stoner life. Rico click. Rico, Rico case. Oh, nigga, you ain't seen Rico since Goodfellas, Rack nigga. Right. Since fucking Frank Lucas, oh. nigga. <laughs> Was Rick Rick Ross. I don't even remember. Uh, Let's Google uh, uh, to make sure we're not sending the people out. Rack- Conspiracy is one. <laughs> yeah. And organization something. Yeah. yeah. Racketeering in something conspiracy organization, I think, right? I know racketeer. I know short Rico. I know for racketeer influenced and corrupt organization. Yup. So yeah. the mob, nigga. What? <laughs> said the mob. Something that was made for the mob has now gone off. It, How do you go they, from they wearing a dress to getting a Rico case, nigga? That's they figured out a way to now, up. In, 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 in they 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 loosely had to figure out a way to tie Rico um, into these gangs and these organizations. Uh, even though they're not doing it nearly to the level of what the mafia. Well, or the I mob thought there was, was a label the whole time. That's I mean, what I, I, I thought that's too. How it happened, right? I, I didn't think. I never starts. once was like Young Thug is probably the mafia. They're like right. they're the Not leader once. of Wise, but that's the that's the picture that they can paint under yeah. the umbrella. See, here's the thing: I believe that the prosecution or any prosecutor can take a story or take a narrative and put it together and make something of what they want it to be at any moment. Well, that's what prosecutors so do. If you're if you're a group and the and your group lawyers. commits crime. Under the name of said group, it's a gang, according to them. Now, to us, it's just a bunch of niggas that riding with each other that may get involved in some shit. We're not looking at it the same way. Yeah. It's not. 
Be right. But you can paint you can paint that brush over the group or the label and say it's multiple people in this label committing these same crimes all tied to each other and you're at the head. This is a Rico. This is federal or this is this is a group of people conspiring to do some shit for the greater good of the label, which is the gang. Right. That's how you get here with Rico. <clears throat> right now, if us four wanted to do something, I bring up the idea, you carry it out, you cover it up, you're involved. And they can get us all Rico. on the Rico. That's the whole point of the Rico. We well, all conspire for the so greater good of the Some Some Podcast, nigga Rico. So basically what they're Damn. saying is Young Thug <laughs> uh, and Gunna go ordered. Now, like yeah. They funded <laughs> and ordered. Wait, Crim- hits, criminal hits. It was drugs and guns. This is what they're accused of, allegedly. Now, allegedly. This is, this is what they're saying. Now. And then they're trying to use the lyrics against them, too, which pissed me off. I mean, have which you read those lyrics? Fuck. Said the lawyer know all the killings. I'm like, have you read the lyrics? I mean, though? that's what your lawyer's supposed to it's do. It's a little too much for the lyrics, though, but I'm just saying he shouldn't but say what I'm, that. But again. I what? thought he was fake. His lyrics were so explicit, I thought he was faking it. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. We don't know what to believe. This is all I still thought this was entertainment. But what I'm saying it, but what we're saying is, is that you can't. We, we realize now. Number one, you got, of course, got to watch what you say. Self sn- self snitching is just the worst. We got to yeah. watch what the fuck you say if you're an artist, high pro- profile artist, right? Second part about it is, is that if in fact, again, how we look at things. If I am a nigga that has a label, right? I may or may not have access to different things. And I may have people under me that may not have access to those things. And I may be willing for the greater good of the people that I love and grew up with may pass off said things to them exactly. in the midst of my success. It's called reach one, teach one, actually. So that so if doesn't niggas necessarily get shit. Motherfuckers may or may not give them access to certain shit. Now, I'm not here to say that that is what happened. What I'm saying is, is that the opportunity for these things to happen is it's so available. It's so, it's so readily available to these, t- these artists that every fucking person that runs a label or runs a group uh, or a music industry setting, a group of niggas, have to watch out. You could get caught with a Rico could, if you easy. encourage them artists to do anything. I mean, I'm sure. If you put bullshit that's happening in your hood in your lyrics, if you, f- if you, if you are involved with guns and drugs and you're the nigga making money, and you pass that shit down, nigga, you can get hit with a fucking Rico. Yeah. If you telling motherfuckers what to do, you get hit with a Rico. 6 9 Clearly was involved with shit. I could talk about his shit because clearly there was a case. People got charged. We know what happened. Yeah, it was Rico. So, right. the same shit. They were conspiring yeah. for the greater the gang. He's, he's calling hits. They moving guns. They moving weight. They moving it across state lines. Yeah. It's very similar, actually. Which is crazy, but it, it is very simple to, to Rico. what happened. Yeah, that's why when you're the artist that big, you gotta man, you gotta protect yourself more because you're the money maker. You know what I'm saying? You the the, the guys the, under you know? should want to keep you away from it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm turning a blind eye. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's on my he's on my label. I pay this motherfucker twenty thousand dollars a month. I don't know what the fuck he does does with his money. Mm-hmm. In my mind, right. I don't know what the fuck going on in the hood. I know what the fuck going on in the streets. I know what the fuck we're involved with. Keep it away from me. Mm-hmm. I can't be involved. I'm the money maker, guys. You do what you do. Yeah. Y'all don't make as much yeah. as me. So I know no. y'all still getting involved with shit. Here y'all go. Do what you do. I ain't involved with it. Well, I'm that, paying you as an artist. That's where he All fucked right. up, right? Because they were wiretapping him and he was, you know, talking to niggas. Yeah. yeah you know. Well, I, like, I mean, I don't even know how you get wiretapped. It's not easy to get wiretapped. You got to be into some shit. All right. So he probably wasn't. Been into some they said these motherfuckers was following him since 2015. Bro. I mean, hey, wow. but yeah, that's if you listen to Thug, which on, I do, and, and that's I, even more I fucked enjoy up. Thug's music yeah. and I honestly want him. You, you yeah. wait to seven beat this. years to build up with some shit that's like, like y'all, like that's foul too to me. Yeah, like the damn. feds are foul. Yeah, the yeah. government like y'all are the US allowing foul. shit to happen so you can build a bigger case. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's why the shit's so fucked up. Because a lot of things that people are probably doing right now, you could probably get bumped under Rico and not even realize it. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. That's what's different from the mafia, where I felt like it was so much more organized to the point where that's what it was made for. It was made for that because of the hierarchy and the way shit kind of went. And, you know, it, it was very hard to get information. This shit is just a lot different. But at the same time, you're still getting hit with these same type of charges. That's what's fucked up. 
that how they're targeting and, and, and changing the narrative to fit the mold of the mafia. And I just don't personally uh, uh, agree. I mean, based on the letter of the law. Why itself is not a mafia? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, basically. It's like, based on the letter of the law, uh, for the alleged crimes, they can be charged. But at the same time, it's like, come on now. Like, that's not what that is, essentially. But if they also did do some of the things that they're accused of doing in the way that they're accused of doing it, technically it would be like a, a, a high-profile gang racketeering mm-hmm. outfit. There's a chance. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there is hope in the fact. I mean, there's a, there's a possibility that maybe some of those, some of the evidence can't be used. It's a whole. So I mean, like, we're, we're I mean, still, like, it's still it, so early. I just hope they have it's a very good early. defense team. It's very early, yeah. and I'm sure they will. Oh yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they're going to get the best of lawyers. I'm sure. Well, I don't know about all. Didn't they try to implicate the lawyer too? <clears throat> well, they'll need a new lawyer. They tried to get the lawyer. I, 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 I think. Let's Google it to make sure I'm not lying. I don't know. Somebody check fact it out. check it. I'm like. I had, somebody had told me that and I'm like oh. can't implement the lawyer. I mean, it's got you have you have uh, attorney client. Uh, uh, um, oh, I might have read it. Uh, was it confidentiality or uh, attorney client? Um, That's why I wasn't understand. I'm like, well, I mean, if you talk to your you talk to your lawyer. There you go. That's or you guess, the, you know, I think they were trying to get him to remove him. So, but he, I don't think he did. I don't know. I don't know either. Right. No. No. The last thing, the last update was him just complaining about the conditions of uh, Young Thug, his cell conditions right now he said <clears throat> that it was inhumane as far as like that went but that was just the recent most recent lo- news and we won't know whether young thug will get bond until june 2nd because of some reasoning and it's so hard for them to agree they already but, denied, but, but another did, thing did with, they did not gun us bond yeah they then denied bond and, and it's it's very hard from what i've heard it's very hard to overturn bond in cases like this where the judge is strict on no bond because their flight risk and there's a lot of other things that you know uh would want them and they believe that they're actively involved with shit that's going on right now you know what i'm saying so there's they're saying that there's retaliation there's a lot of things that can be done if they're not but again if he's in jail, he can do those things too. Shit. And as a matter of fact, it might be worse for them to be in jail if you believe that they're that bad because all the niggas that they want <laughs> or, or the shit that's going on are niggas in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, You're like, talking about Lucci? <laughs> man, they they run that jail, man. I think Lucci. I'm, I'm, I'm more than certain that, that well, I'm not going to say You think Lucci is just a snitch I'm going to say that they're involved. With, I, they're, they, they potentially could be involved with a lot more motherfuckers that can cause a lot more harm in that jail. And in, 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 in correctional centers around the state of Georgia, in my opinion. Do you think Lucci's... A, they probably better off think, being out. Do you think this is all Lucci's fault? Because I, I noticed that Lucci has... Nah, more he might be a big... He might be a small piece of it, but he ain't the... He ain't the... He ain't the... He, he isn't the catalyst as to why this happened. They're the catalyst, if any reason. They're, they're the reason why it happened. If they're, no if, if, they're, if everything is true. I had any beef with, with Lucci. Yeah, I know that was that was like I beef, but I, I knew it wasn't like nothing that I thought was that serious to where it's like you know they tried to you know unalive him, they, but yeah, allegedly, they said they allegedly tried, trying to kill him in jail. I'm like, man, Lucci had to say that shit. That was my first. That was my literally knee jerk reaction. Yeah, I'm like, sure, Lucci ass told the cops, young thug trying to kill me. <laughs> why you gonna put a, why you gonna put a sni- <laughs> Why would you put a snitch jacket on there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was just my knee jerk reaction. <laughs> I, I, why why? Why would you put the snitch jacket on him? Why? Because that, that was the nigga that uh-huh. actually shot himself uh-huh. at the video. I'm a fucker home and pay a bill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not saying it because that he's like that. <laughs> I'm saying it because he's the nigga. I can't think. I, only thing when I think about him, I just think about that. I just think about that song. He shot himself. Yeah, he, I saw He shot somebody with the, lo- with the loaded... He pulled an Alec Baldwin. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker. Too soon. But nobody got hurt. No, nah, fuck, dude. <laughs> hey, look, I had sympathy for him and said this nigga started jumping out the window about shit. And I'm like, yo. That nigga jumped out the stay window. Stay out of it. No, nah, I mean, like, figuratively. Like, oh, I was like, damn. Some shit online. Oh, like, like, a couple Alec, different damn, things he didn't had. He didn't stuck his nose in. And we were like, hey, look, nigga. Remorse. Fall back. You, you got a lot going on. Like, fall back. That's how rumors get started. Alec Baldwin jumped out the window? Yeah, right. Exactly. Next thing you know, headlines. Alec Baldwin jumped out the window. That nigga had Alec Baldwin. Look. His ass should jump out the fucking jump window. The window. You motherfucker. You, you, you fucking. You gonna tell me that you all didn't know that it was a fucking loaded know. bullet in loaded. the gun? And, and if you didn't know, why the fuck would you aim in the gun at her anyway? They teach you to well, yeah. not do that. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Like, you know, there's a lot of things wrong with the situation. Right. You know? Exactly. Very similar situation as Lucci's. But actually, Lucci, nobody got hurt. 
Yeah, overall fucked up. That's uh, wild. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated on the YSL situation and the Rico cases as we find more things to oh, discuss. Freedom, freedom niggas, right? Shit. I mean, at, at this point, we don't know. I mean, because look, you, you, put, you put this jacket on a motherfucker that, you know, you may or may not believe did some things. And you now you painted this narrative. And now to the world, it seems like, you know, he was conspiring in this big ass conglomerate organization to fucking commit crimes and do murders and shit like that when we have no fucking evidence to the kind other other than some wiretaps and some saying some shit we don't see anything we haven't had anything yet that's come to the forefront again it's still early but uh you know we'll see how far this shit goes and how much it sticks i mean they got money to pay some really good lawyers man and they do have some of the probably best lawyers that are probably in georgia so you know we'll Everything remains to be seen at this point, so we'll figure it out. What's going on? It's Alo Boo. And it's your boy, Howie Stack. And thank y'all for watching the Some Some Podcast. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.